guys uh, welcome back to our school management system playlist so up to now we have created uh, academic sections classrooms and sections in the first video and in the second video uh, we created a functionality from where uh, we can attach the sections to the classrooms right and then also the functionality to reorder so uh, as per my plan i was going to uh, create the video for import and export sections but for now due to high boat i am in filament seal integration which is the most um, awaited video i think right and most important video for any hours of our systems so now so for this uh, we are going to use this package uh, filament sealed so either you can refer to the official docs or I have also written an article on this which is obviously from the official docs but I have just added the exact flow how we can set up that right so you can either f follow this or the, in the, or the official docs uh, but I highly recommend you to check the official docs because you will know much more than here okay so first of all let me install the package after that I need to publish the configuration file yes and let me publish this and let me open the config file so let me just zoom in so here the major configuration for the filament shield is here you, you must need to handle each step carefully right so this is regarding the shield resource if you want to register the shield uh, role resource on your panel or not that is here Be below that there is a tenant model which is the most important thing so here you must need to write your tenant model right so for me it's team so you must need to have this okay so after that uh, so you can check if you want any pre permission prefix if you want to modify them you can or if you also want to have a custom permissions of course there is the functionality of that but now in this video we are not going to do that because here we will just check for the crowd operation and obviously uh, in the next video when we are going to create the import and export button we'll obviously check the custom permissions too so now this is only the thing that uh, that we need to change for now after that before moving forward you whenever you are using the roles you must need to use one thread use as roles right this is from the spati and here are the most of the things that we need the all the methods that we can have just like the relations is role if they it has role or not without role with roles assign role uh, you, you may have checked the spatty roles permission right when, when all the methods that you used are defined here so you, you can study this in detail too so now after this step now the next step is to set up the filament sealed right so we have already written uh, sorry we have uh, our project is on the multi-tenant so i am going to follow the second step so let me open my terminal and let me just clear this and here i need to pass my tenant class right app models it's me it's for me it's team so if i enter here uh yes uh no okay so here now it generates me the role model permission model and as well as the permission config file so here if you see here 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 is the most important thing if you have any other things rather than team id don't forget to change this from the permission file to link okay and after that make sure teams is true if we are using the uh for a uh, foreign key right so the things are these are linked here if i go here and if i go to suppose here you can see roles right uh 
model has permissions inside here there is the teams if it has teams teams it is from if i go up 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 here you can see permission dot teams if team is enabled then it will create a unsigned big integer means an attribute with the team foreign key that you have mentioned in your uh, permission config file so that is the most important thing right so after that uh, now we just need to register the shield so that is nothing that is just a um, if i go admin panel here i need to register the plugin and the middleware to sync the uh, permission right so that is also handled by filament commands shield command so let me just copy the command let me open new terminal and let me paste it here you can see my panel is admin so it's okay for me so if you have any other panel please don't forget to change the name of the panel right let me enter it yeah here you can see it registered the plugin as well as it registered the middleware sync shield tenant you can also explore how it is working right so you can also set here it is just set permission tenant id filament get tenant you can check out the code uh, we are not doing dive into that so after that step uh it registered that now the only thing that we need here is to generate the policies right so to generate the policies uh you don't need to do psb addition make policy and for each model we need we don't need to create the policies so there is a field shield generate command as gild shield generate i can pass all so you can check here uh, option resource page widget exclude there are things in which you want to generate that so for now if i i want to generate for all i can just hit this for which admin panel for admin panel and that's it so now if you see here it created me section role classroom academic session these are the four models for me right so now four models that are dependent on teams uh, you need to keep this in on also on the mind okay after that my policies are ready now the next boring task is to create the permission sheet right so now every time we need to add then we need to create a seeder file obviously to generate the policies like view role view edit role view permission edit permission view class section edit class section delete so we don't need to worry about that this is is also generated by shield just we need to handle psp partition s h h i l shield generate that's it yes oh sorry shield seeder i just hit the same command enter yeah here now if i go to my seeders i get the new file and now it is here you can see it created me a role super admin and all others are permissions here you can see offer all the models so suppose if you add any new models then you make sure that you need to run this and if it says it already exists you can just remove this file and generate the new seeder unless if you have any permissions okay if you have any custom permission make sure you keep it them in a different file so okay that's it now now the thing is done if i refresh here i don't have any access if i go back here yeah i i am up to here clear because the for now the there is no permission for dashboard page so besides that i can't see anything so now at least we need a super admin right so the first thing what we can do is we can go to app service provider and create a get to define else there is a command that will create us the super admin too so i just need to enter psp artisan shield super admin and then tenant and i need to pass the tenant equals for which tenant i need for tenant one that's it now if i refresh here okay i get the new error uh role does not have relationship named team so if i go to role model here what i need to do is use 
team relation right if you remember we have the relation defined here so we don't need to rewrite it again that's it now i have academic session classes rooms sections everything and here if i let's suppose i don't want to give i am in this role super admin but i don't want myself the academic session then i will just save this if i try to go here yes it's 4043 and now i can't see that part two so now so in this way we can uh, add flam and shield in our project and don't worry so from now onwards for each module each model we add uh, we move with filament seal too so that it works the roles and permission works align with me thank you guys for watching this video and in the next video we will be working on import and export of classrooms and the custom permission for them thank you